Yo guys, Aaron here. I'm going to show you some gameplay of the new crossbow secondary weapon. It's under the pistol category, even though it's not really a pistol. But just add to Call of Mobile and a seasonal challenge. I think later this week there's going to be the legendary version in the legendary character draw. Which I think it's a legendary reaper, I'm pretty sure. But for now we've got the free version and a seasonal challenge. I'm going to go over the challenge, go over all the different things you have to do. Which it's a pretty simple challenge, but I'll still go over it real quick. The weapon itself though, is based on the Modern Warfare 2019 crossbow, except in that game I believe it's a primary weapon, whereas here it's a secondary. But you're definitely going to want to use this weapon on like a close range class, so like if you're using like a shotgun or an SMG and you need more, more of a long range weapon, then you can swap to the crossbow and use it. It's a pretty reliable one shot without using any of the bolts, because there's a thermite bolt, gas grenade and a sticky grenade bolt which I show gameplay later on in the second match of the Sticky Grenade Bolt, so I'll talk more, more about that later. But without any, any of the bolts, it's a one-shot kill everywhere except for the legs, so it'll hit mark at the, when you hit them in the leg, no matter at what range. At a super long range, it'll still one-shot to the upper chest and the head, but the stomach and legs will be a hit marker, so that's at a really long range. You're not going to really be using it for that long of a range anyways, I don't think. But a pretty reliable one shot again. Anywhere except the leg is a one shot kill. Unless you're super far long range, then the stomach area becomes a hit marker also. But it's a pretty interesting weapon. I don't know if like this can be like this, I don't think it's like overpowered or anything, but it's definitely pretty strong I'd say. If you're using on that right class and you have a good aim because of that one shot ability, but Definitely not like overpowered I would say, but it's definitely going to be used a lot I think along with the shorty still. Of course the Renetti's still pretty good. Like literally the three other pistols are just like left behind now, even the 50 GS. I mean some, some people still use the Akimbo attachment, but still not that great honestly. But going over the challenges here, it's a pretty simple to unlock. The first challenge, this is the target practice, seasonal challenge by the way. First challenge is do the Sparrow Operator skill five times in multiplayer matches. Pretty simple, which happened like a hard point shipment, you can get like at least three of them done. You use it three times in one match. Next challenge, kill five enemies with the Sparrow Operator skill multiplayer matches. Again, just happened to like a domination shipment or something, or even like a kill confirm shipment. You should be able to get like five kills with one use, if not, probably use it two times to get the five kills within those two uses. Next challenge is earn the one shot kill medal five times in multiplayer matches. Pretty simple, just use a sniper. You can really play any map. I just hopped on like a crossfire team death match. It's a longer range map, so it's easier to snipe on. Next challenge, to kill 50 enemies with any pistol, with pistols in any mode. Again, you can use a shorty for this one. That's what I did. Chop in like a team death match shipment or something, or kill confirm shipment. Next challenge, to kill 15 enemies with any shotgun in any mode. Same thing as before, just use a shotgun, whatever you want to use, doesn't matter. Hop on a kill confirm shipment. Next time, just kill 25 enemies with any shotgun equipped with 5 attachments. Same thing as before, just make sure you have a shotgun with 5 attachments on. Final challenge is win 5 multiplayer matches with the toughness perk equipped. So make sure you have the toughness perk on your class, of course. Hop in a free for all match and just play 5 free for all matches and make sure you place top 3. Even if you're not first place, it still counts as a win as long as you're top 3, so easiest way to do it for sure. And that's it, then you get the crossbow. And then what you're seeing here is gameplay of the sticky grenade bolt. Which honestly it's not that good. Like, I thought it was going to be a lot stronger than it is. But then like, it is a secondary so it can't be that overpowered. But it's really not that good. I haven't used the grenade, the gas grenade attachment or the thermite attachment. So I don't know how good those are. But the sticky grenade attachment is actually not that good. If you shoot them in the leg, the initial impact is a hit marker. And then the, even the Semtex explosion is still a hit marker. It will not kill them, which is pretty ridiculous, honestly. If you shoot them in like the chest, the initial impact is a hit marker, and the explosion will kill them. But again, it's like a Semtex grenade, so it's not going like, to explode instantly. So in that little bit of time after you hit them, they could kill you, someone can steal your killer, or something like that. So I just feel like this attachment isn't that worth it, to be honest, to use. I feel like it would just be, you'd just be, you'd just be better off using no bolt at all, no bolt attachment. But there are some interesting builds you can make with this weapon. You can like make like a hip fire build, which I don't know how good that's gonna be, but that'd be like a super close range type build. Which I feel like in that case you would just use a shorty instead for your secondary, but I don't know. Your overall pretty solid weapon, definitely to use it more. 
play with the attachments a bit more, see what's good and see what's not good. I think sleight of hand is definitely the perk you, uh, the attachment you want the most on like every build, I think, because the time it takes to reload each bolt is decently long, so definitely sleight of hand helps with that a lot. So I think that's like the main attachment we'll, we'll be using on every build, no matter what. And then from there, it's up to you what you want to use, but let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this weapon, if you've used it, what do you guys think? Is it balanced? Is it overpowered? Is it underpowered? Let me know. If you haven't used it, are you guys looking forward to unlocking it? Let me know. Thanks for watching. Peace.